Hi guys, welcome to today's session. This is going to be the final um, class for this year, um, as we're just about to go into Christmas. So we're going to be carrying on with this um, this big horn that we've been painting the last few weeks. I'm just adjusting my, um, my light down a little bit. So you remember we got sort of the fur, sort of approximately texture of the fur roughed in, in this kind of top section of the, the big horn. We worked on the horns a bit. Um, Today we want to just kind of carry on with this texture, so working a bit in the texture or adding texture to the um, shadows and also into the half tones and the lights as well. And I think what I'll also probably be doing near the end, um, we'll just be kind of reinforcing some of the dark washes or a few extra darker washes just kind of through the center, popping the, um, the ram out a bit more. So, if I start with the... Um, the half tones. You remember last week we were sort of going in um, looking at the half tone edge and trying to suggest sort of the right type of texture through that, that region. So we've got some sort of yellowish um, tufts of fur down this um, this half tone, but we've also got some bluish ones. So I'm going to be just putting in sort of some golden notes. So it's a bit of a broken color, essentially, what I'm doing here. I'm trying to just start to build. Some more of these colors into the the shadows and the, and the half tones but sort of working across both of them at the moment i'm going to probably be knocking the so if i do some washes uh, actually maybe now just a few washes over the the white generally in this part of the the piece kind of lifting some of those little notes that i just put in um so I want to just sort of glaze slightly over this section generally. Just to knock its value back a little bit relative to the, the stag's um, face. That's just because we want to kind of give a sense of um, kind of fall of light or the kind of bloom of light. So it's darker. darker down here in this section and uh, lighter as it kind of moves forward. Got a bit of blue now, I want to start kind of 
placing that inside the shadows as well. So what I'm talking about in terms of kind of breaking, breaking the colors. You remember or if you've watched the the initial videos that we went for a fairly kind of muted quite dead um, opening to the piece we didn't go for super bright colors um, but we did leave the possibility open to do this sort of thing so this is always what we've been working towards this kind of uh, kind of more interesting varied color um, color pass through the through the piece and go in with some even darker tones as well. So it goes quite dark near the back of the big horn's head. So I've got a little bit of black mixed in here. So it's just gradually a case of building up these textures. So we've got darker blues, paler blues, golds, reds. And if they're just kind of applied gradually over these, this section, it starts to make the texture clearer and clearer. Obviously ended up sort of initially here primarily working within the the shadows, but we'll be getting back to kind of zoom in a little bit and we'll be getting back into the <coughs> the half tones as well. up a little bit of a more kind of purpley wash for this shadow as well. So I don't actually use loads of purples but that works quite nicely that one. Um, and not everything would necessarily work with this approach as well, you want to bear in mind. Um, it sort of works particularly well with um, a very kind of textured subject like this first. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to look at this, um, this fur and start to try to give slightly better sense of texture.
quite simple really, I'm just using these kind of smaller strokes um, with some slightly more interesting tones and interesting colours. Um, now my blush brush is actually splayed a little bit at this point. It's quite good that that's happened. Um, if you do get splaying in the brush, you don't have to worry too much about it when you're working on this sort of stuff. So splaying, if you kind of push down on it, you can maybe achieve that as an effect. But it's just where the brush kind of um, spreads out the, the front of it, so you end up with kind of multiple streaks of hair sticking out. Just going back in now, a little bit of blue and white and a little bit of body colour into oh, zoom back out a bit into the background. And uh, where there's a bit of reflected light hitting the back of the, the big horn as well. just going to swap to a slightly larger brush. I want to do some sort of washes now, getting near the end of this, this piece. And I just want to go in and just darken some elements of the shadows. At the moment, it feels a little bit sort of too heavy and dark among the, the half tones and doesn't quite have the depth um, around the shadows as well, which we'll, we kind of need in order for them to feel those those tones to feel correctly balanced.
that's not too bad and I'm now going to take some sort of black and blue mixed together a pretty dark black tone and I want to just go through just even further push these tones in behind the, the big horn's head. It's just going to help pop it out kind of even more distinctly, which will be nice. So sort of just the bit centered around the, the animal itself. Yeah, we're getting, getting pretty close to stopping here, I think. Hold it in about there. And just punch out just any other little final notes where we want to go really dark. Yeah, so I think that's um, pretty good for this one. And that's the last few little passes of color that we require. Um, and certainly just kind of that extra little punch of the reflected lights in the back of the, the big horn um, and pushing the darks a little bit darker sort of around the, the front certainly helped. And it just feels a bit more finished now with this extra, extra texture uh, in place. I'm just gonna reset the values there a little bit. So you get the sense of um, the way the light's hitting. As I, as I say, it's brighter at the front here of the, the face versus the neck, which is good. Gives this kind of sense of a progression. Um, but yeah, those are the sorts of final adjust, adjustments that we need to make, and adding in the extra color as well, so we get a little bit more kind of broken color, interesting color var variation is is good as well. So yeah, that's it for this um, this series, um, which is the final one of this year. Um, if you haven't watched the others, I recommend having a look through them. Um, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be up to date with uh, anything new that we add as well. Um, there's lots of content for myself, other tutors, interviews, and so on. And um, you can also click the link through in the description to um, see what sorts of uh, qualifications, paid qualifications that we offer as well. 
so yeah that's it um for today and for this year and i'll be seeing you guys soon